Hello and welcome to the late night edition with me Ayushman Singh Jamwal big breaking news coming in at the top of the bulletin where in another victory for Israel in the war against Hamas the IDF has eliminated Yahya Sinwar one of the masterminds of the October 7 terror attack who succeeded Ismail Haniya to head Hamas he was killed in a security operation in Gaza where he was among three terrorists who were killed Yahya Sinwar was eliminated after hiding for the past year behind the civilian population of Gaza, both above and below ground in Hamas tunnels in the Gaza Strip. A huge victory for Israel in the war against Hamas. And now what we are learning is that the Israeli government has demanded the surrender of Hamas and the immediate release of all the hostages. Yaya Sinwar, that man on your screen, has been eliminated by the Israeli Defense Force. A huge victory for Israel in the ongoing conflict in the Gaza Strip in an in an mission, an ongoing mission to cripple the entire Hamas infrastructure, ladies and gentlemen. The big news coming in from the war in the Middle East is that Yahya Senwar, the head of Hamas, has been eliminated by the IDF in a security operation in southern Gaza. Remember, at first, they were trying to confirm the identity of Yahya Senwar, but now it has been confirmed by the Israel Defense Force that the head of Hamas has been eliminated. He was one of the key conspirators of the October 7 terror attack, which shook the entire world and now the chief of Hamas has been killed. He was killed in a security operation in southern Gaza along with two other terrorists and that is the latest coming in from the war in the Middle East where a huge victory has been achieved by the Israel Defense Force against Hamas. Now Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, is set to speak in a short while but this is a huge victory for Israel's ongoing offensive against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. I'm joined by Major General A.K. Sivach on the broadcast. General Sivach, a huge victory for Israel. Decode the ramifications of this as tensions also persist with Iran. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, uh, see, Ashuman, uh, what has happened is, uh, as far as Hamas is concerned, after Ismail Hania, it was Yaya Sinwar who was the most important commander and he has taken over the, uh, the uh, reign of Hamas. After he has been killed, you can now see it. Majority of the uh, the leaders which were uh, leading it have been eliminated. It's only the second rung uh, of leaders have been left as far as Hamas is concerned. It looks like that Israel uh, Mossad has able to infiltrate in Hamas cadre as well as also in Hezbollah and also the military intelligence of Iran. If you see sequence of action, the way it is in Hezbollah also, it was Hassan Nasrullah killed, then Mohammed Shakur have been uh, also killed, uh, then Ibrahim Akil has been uh, also eliminated. So therefore, there are a number of uh, commanders and leaders which have been eliminated, whether it is Hamas, Hezbollah, or also the Iran has been uh, given, uh, uh, you know, the taste of their own medicine. So now, what is the situation as, as on today, as far as Hamas is concerned, I think their military capability has crippled to quite an extent. Their military capability, one can say with a lot of certainty, has reduced to only 20 to 30 percent. Still, they are a force to reckon with in the southern part of uh, Gaza, but not in the central and the north. But certainly, they are now no more a big threat as far as Israel is concerned. And that's how the Israel is asking for the surrender of Hamas. As far as Hezbollah is concerned, it is still very much intact. And Hezbollah is three to four times more powerful than Hamas. It is a Shia militia which has been personally trained uh, by Iran. They have about one to one and a half lakh of missile and rocket. They have about 70 to 80,000 troops. They have an armored brigade. So they are now still there and possibly Israel is now going to ensure that the, especially those which are in southern Lebanon, Hezbollah, they are pushed to the central and their military capability also reduced to a quite a bit as much as Hamas before they venture anything in Iran. They will not be in hurry to attack on Iran, whether it is nuclear facility, whether it is oil and energy sector or any other military target. They will wait on till the time they eliminate and reduce and degrade the military capability of Hezbollah because that is very important. Their, their military target was to bring back those 70 to 80,000 Israeli from 
from North Israel, which have already gone out from there. And they can only uh, get them back in case they push the Hezbollah cadre from the southern portion of uh, Lebanon to the central. That will happen in, in time to come by launching a ground invasion, which they have already started, but you will find it, it will be now uh, intensity will increase in time to come. But as far as Israel hitting on uh, Iran, since Iran has um, uh, taken a venture of almost firing about 200 uh, missile, it will be done, but not immediately. That's what I think, uh, Anshuma. Absolutely. Major General Sivaj, please stay with us. We're also getting a reaction uh, from the Defense Minister of Israel. Uh, now, he has said Yaya Sinwar was eliminated and ended his life, beaten, persecuted and fled. His elimination is a clear message to the families of the fallen and abducted. We are doing everything and we will continue to do it. Residents of Gaza, the end of the man who killed you in a disaster. This has arrived. Go out with the kidnap, free them and surrender is the pitch coming in from the defense minister who has called for the surrender of Hamas after another key leader of the terror organization has been eliminated. Uh, Yaya Sinwa is no more, ladies and gentlemen, in a security operation by the Israeli Defense Force in southern Gaza. To get more details, I'm joined by my colleague Siddhant Mishra on the broadcast as well. Siddhant, a huge victory for Israel and Netanyahu is set to speak anytime soon. Well, absolutely, Aishman. It's the third bin Laden movement for Israel in in last three months. Uh, it all started with uh, with uh, uh, with Ismail Haniya, uh, but uh, you know they have still not taken the respons responsibility of Ismail, of the killing of Ismail Haniya in Tehran. Then Hassan Nasrallah during the invasion in Lebanon, and now Yahya Sinwar. So the top three uh, Israel's most wanted have been eliminated by Israel, perhaps. The biggest ever victory Israel has achieved in maybe last 20, 25 years against the access of resistance forces. Uh, also, uh, Ayushman, the positive side of... Uh, Netanyahu is speaking right now. Let's get to that speech. היום הרוע ספג מכה קשה, אבל המשימה שלפנינו עדיין לא הושלמה. למשפחות החטופים היקרות, אני אומר, זהו רגע חשוב במלחמה. אנחנו נמשיך בכל הכוח, עד להשבתם הביתה של כל יקיריכם, שהם יקירינו. זו מחויבות עליונה שלנו, זו מחויבות עליונה שלי. ולתושבי עזה אני אומר, סנוואר הרס לכם את החיים. הוא סיפר לכם שהוא אריה, אבל בפועל הוא הסתתר במאורה חשוכה והוא חוסל כשהוא נמלט בבעלה מחיילינו. חיסולו הוא ציון דרך חשוב בשקיעת שלטון הרשע של החמאס. ואני מבקש לומר שוב, בצורה הכי ברורה, החמאס לא ישלוט יותר בעזה. זוהי תחילתו של היום שאחרי חמאס, וזו הזדמנות בשבילכם, תושבי עזה, להשתחרר סוף סוף מעריצותו. למחבלי החמאס אני אומר, מנהיגיכם בורחים והם יחוסלו. And Benjamin Netanyahu there saying that this is a huge victory uh, for the security of Israel. Siddhant continues to be with us on the broadcast. Uh, so Siddhant, uh, Netanyahu also making, uh, sending out that message to not just Hamas, but even its allies in other parts of the Middle East, that it's time to put pressure on the terror organization to surrender as well as release all the hostages immediately. Absolutely, Ashman. I was coming to that point. Uh, I, you know, uh, we were looking at uh, this window in a way that uh, Netanyahu has got a free hand since U.S. is busy in elections. Uh, and in fact, you know, he is going to eliminate all of uh, Israel's enemy. And perhaps uh, he executed that script. Uh, now, uh, the pressure is not just on Hamas to surrender the hostages, uh, but also on Netanyahu to end the war. Uh, there is no doubt about it, uh, Ayushman. In fact, we have been reading.